This is Joel Rubin in Virginia Beach with the answer to a question many of you have. When are we going to get cable TV and all the sports events, movies, and specials that come with it? Those who live near this microwave tower off Witch Duck Road and the ones atop Maryview Hospital in Portsmouth and Lakewood Plaza in Norfolk got cable first. In a spiderweb type fashion, it has spread from there. 70% of Norfolk, where you see the red flags, is now covered. West Ghent and the rest of Ocean View, the yellow flags, will have cable by the fall, the remainder of the city sometime next year. Most of the eastern section of Portsmouth has cable now. Churchland will have the service before the year is out. Sprawling Virginia Beach is another story. Installation crews are gradually moving east. Princess Anne Plaza, for instance, will be cable eligible by the fall. The oceanfront, it's hoped, sometime next year. The southern end of the city may have to wait until 1982, the year Cox must have its entire tidewater system in place. The pace seems slow, but Cox officials say they are not dragging their feet. It would not be to anybody's best interest not to want to sell the product to somebody, and we are, we are moving at a very rapid pace, and uh, we, we want to get the system built and everybody installed that wants it this is, as soon as physically possible. Marmon says the response to cable and Tidewater has been fantastic, that TV addicts want more choices, even if one of those choices is live daily coverage of some rather boring House of Representatives floor debates. This is an absolutely uh, essential amendment, and the, and the gentleman made two uh, very important uh, points that this house... By 1982, uh, Cox expects 40% of the 180,000 TV households in Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and Portsmouth to have cable. And if Chesapeake wants to join in, company officials say they'll install their lines there, too. Joel Rubin, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Virginia Beach. There's no reason.